Hello, my name is Devin, and welcome to Module 8, Sustainability Metrics and the Urban Scale. Many cities have set goals to improve their sustainability, and we need ways to measure progress towards these goals. Metrics, or the way we measure something, is crucial for reflexive, knowledge-based development and policymaking. We don't want to just choose an ideology and then act on it no matter what. History has provided us with several examples of that method failing spectacularly. Instead, we want to design policies based on the best knowledge we have at the time. And then, this is crucial, continue to monitor the impact of those policies, reflect, and make adjustments. Similar to the trends I mentioned in Module 2 and relational thinking, the cutting edge of physics and philosophy tells us that when you measure something, both the thing measured and the person doing the measuring are subtly changed. Nothing is left unchanged by the act of measuring. But you don't need to take a deep dive into quantum physics to understand how the types of measurements you set up for a system end up changing the system itself. An example might be education. So in the United States, when I was in primary school, the government decided that they wanted to improve education, but the way they would do this would be to provide funding for schools based on how well students performed on standardized tests. Now this put pressure on the schools for their students to perform, and the teachers started teaching children how to take these tests instead of spending time on actually educating them. The teachers' union, in fact, went on strike at one point uh, to protest these policies because knowing how to take a multiple choice test isn't necessarily the same thing as being educated. Your first text for today explores the metrics for energy poverty in Europe and whether or not it's best to choose one simple number, as they have done in the UK, or to design more holistic measurements that take into account a lot of different aspects uh, that might contribute to energy poverty. The second text looks at the Green Capitals competition uh, and tries to investigate whether or not the competition truly encourages substantive sustainability transitions and to what degree it might contribute to simply greenwashing or a branding exercise. The third text gives a good theoretical grounding in the geographies of energy transition from Bridge. And the fourth text um, looks at urban politics related to the smart city and the smart grid. In your workshop, you're going to look at UN Sustainable Development Goal 11, how to make cities and human settlements safe, resilient, and sustainable. And you'll look at the targets and indicators that the UN has laid out for this goal. So I hope you enjoy the module today, and it's been good.